Good morning. My name is JR and I'm with Kent General Contracting. I'm going to go through different areas of this job, interior, exterior, and talk about what we've done already through the steps that we're going to go through this project in order to have a finished product that works for the homeowner and meets all of code. You can see if you put a marble in one spot, it's going to roll everywhere because none of this floor is even close to level. It's the biggest bowl of a kitchen I've probably been at. So what we're gonna do is we have to work from above when it comes to fixing this floor, leveling it out. We're gonna remove the floor, but then we're gonna actually take out joists and things like that, and we're gonna go all the way down to the basement. We're gonna put in new footings, new posts, lollies, beams to support this floor, and then reframe the floor, and then put floor on. Our client family has set up their temporary kitchen and it's actually a much more elaborate temporary kitchen than a lot of our families. So this space is their living area in the oldest part of their home, but we're not touching this area as part of our project. So they've set up a couple of buffets, their dining table, they have their toaster oven and microwave, and then they have a powder room nearby that they can do the actual washing in. We're moving their kitchen into where their current dining room is. It'll be a full width of windows. Their sink will be on this wall, and then there'll be a full wall of cabinets on this side. Their refrigerator will be down at the end. They'll have a huge island in the center, and this will be the new mudroom entrance. They have a basement that has some flooding issues. They're right near a conservation area that has a lot of high water table issues. And they really are desperate to get their laundry out of the basement. So because they don't use this bathtub, one of the things they've asked us to do is to take the cast iron tub out to reskin this alcove and put their washer and dryer up here. Thank you.